What's up, YouTube? So, a fellow Pentaxian YouTuber, uh, Lee Iverson, has uh, reached out asking me to do a video on program, uh, program line mode, program mode, P mode. Some people call it professional mode. It's not quite professional, but anyway, we're going to look at program mode on a Pentax camera. I have scoured uh, YouTube, I have scoured the internet, looking for if someone has actually done a video like this, because I like to do things that are a little outside the box in regards to what's been presented previously. And I came to a conclusion after realizing that a lot of people have gone into program mode and what it is, how it works, but I haven't seen anybody actually go into the options within program mode. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to look at the MTF mode. Uh, oh, what on earth is that thing called? Multiply Transducer Fidelity? No, that's not it. It is um, Modulation Transfer Function. That's what it is. Basically, what it does is it takes a reading of the light that's hitting the sensor. At least th this is how it works when it's actually in the camera from what I can deduce from everything I've looked for or looked at or researched. Um, it takes the, it takes a reading of how the light through the lens is actually hitting the sensor of the camera. So from there, as you're adjusting uh, your zoom range uh, on a zoom lens, the MTF option within the program mode will actually provide you with the best aperture to get the sharpest image by reading the light that's hitting the sensor. Um, and there are some other options as well. There's a shallow depth of field option as well as a deep depth of field option for the landscape people. And uh, I guess shallow depth of field for the portrait people. And there's also a high speed function as well. How good are they? How do they actually work? Well, that's what this video is going to be about, so let's uh, just get right to it and show you how it works. Well, after looking online one more time, uh, I actually noticed something I thought was quite interesting. I thought other camera manufacturers had the various options within the program line, but it actually looks like Pentax is unique in this element. They seem to be the only ones who actually have multiple options within the program line. So what are those options? Well, let's take a look. So I'm in program mode right now, as you can see up here, the P. And uh, basically what I'm going to do is open up the menu here. And within the menu, I'm already in program line. So you see here is MTF. Now the other options, we'll get to MTF in a minute. The other options here are auto, normal, which seems to be what every other manufacturer has. It's an automatically programmed system that does the calculations on its own. Uh, so you have automatic, which I guess the camera tries to figure out what situation you're shooting in and will adjust parameters as it sees fit. You've got sports, I guess that's sports mode, fast action, deep depth of field, shallow depth of field, and your MTF, modulation transfer function. So let's start with the sports one, the fast action one. And you'll notice here the shutter speed is at one one hundredth of a second. Let me just adjust this a little bit here so you can see a bit more. There we go. Okay, so you see here one one, one hundredth of a second at f3.5. I have ISO and automatic. It's pretty dim, so ISO 8000. Let me just turn on a light here. And now we've got ISO 6400, 1 one twenty fifth of a second at f4. So let's zoom the lens a bit here. And you'll notice the shutter speed has now gone up and the aperture has gone down. So it's prioritizing using a higher shutter speed for the available aperture that you can use. This is an f2.8 to 4 lens that I'm using, so all the way zoomed out will be f4, and the shutter speed has to correspond with that setting. But when we get to 3.5, you'll notice it jumps up to 1 1 60th of a second. So it does try to help in regards to capturing faster, 
moving subjects, faster action. So the next one is the deep depth of field. Now, this probably won't work very well. I, I mean, all these subjects are pretty close, but it'll give you an idea. Keep an eye on the aperture here. So keep an eye on the f4.5. And you'll notice as I zoom out, remember it's an f2.8 to f4 lens. So it's already at f5, 5.6, back to 5, 4.5. So with this one, I'm not entirely sure if it's actually looking at keeping a depth of field as far as possible. Let's go down to the shallow depth of field here. And you'll notice now it immediately goes to f2.8 at the wide end. And as I zoom, it'll just change because it's a variable aperture lens. Right? So f4, f3.5, f2.8 nothing in between. So these two in comparison, this technically, this is the deep depth of field one, f4.5 to f5 to f6. So this would actually give you a deeper depth of field. So let's see, it's at f5.6. Keep an eye on this section right here. And let's just change that to the shallow depth of field. And you'll notice just along here, slightly bit more out of focus. It's a bit difficult to tell because of the aspect of the live view, but it is what it is. Now let's take a look at MTF. Now this one is interesting because basically what this is going to do is try to give you the best aperture across the zoom range to give you the sharpest image. So remember, it's an f2.8 to f4 lens. Right now we're at f2.8 at 1 60th of a second, f3.5, f4, I don't think this is working the way it should be. Unless it's taking into consideration the available light as well. Huh, interesting. So this is actually seems to just be running the actual aperture of the lens natively. Let's see. Can I set this back as auto? Yeah. Let's go to normal program mode and see what happens here. So yeah, it's pretty much uh, what every other brand actually does. It'll just keep the lens aperture what it is. The ISO will change, the shutter speed will remain consistent. So it's only going to change the ISO and the aperture, obviously, because it's a variable aperture lens. Now let's go to auto and see what it tries to figure out here. 3.5, so it's just changing the aperture again and the ISO. It's not changing the shutter speed whatsoever. So this is actually, it's a decent mode. I mean, it's not going to figure out each and every single aspect of everything that you're trying to shoot. I mean, that's a given. Uh, however, it will do its best to, hmm, something seems off here. Well, let me try something. Okay, so I swapped out the Sigma 1770 for the DA1855WR uh, just to see if actually having a Pentax uh, lens, sorry, actually makes a difference in regards to how this reads out. And it does look like it is making a difference because we're already at 1 1 25th of a second. And then I think the available light is going to go down. Let's see, are we at 3.5? Okay, there. 3.5. Cancel that. Okay, so it's showing F5, 1 one hundredth of a second at ISO 8000. And now it's at 4.5. F4, 4.5. But you'll notice the shutter speed is staying fairly up there until we get zoomed all the way in. 
most likely due to the fact that it's a black lens, so less light. Now, let's actually take a look at the deep depth of field. So it's staying at 1 60th of a second at f5.6, and now it's at 6.3. 5.6 again. Remember, this is a 3.5 to 5.6 lens. So it does seem as it's maintaining the same depth almost as you zoom in. It's interesting. Now let's take a look quickly at the shallow depth of field. So this should just go right through the whole aperture range. 2.5, f4, 4.5, 5.6. Yeah. And one more time, MTF. So what is the best aperture to use? So this would be f5 at 18 millimeters wide. And this would be 5.6 at 35, 7.1 at 45, and yep, so 7.1 all the way up to 55. So those are the three, or well, three, more like, uh, what is that here? One, two, three, four, five six different modes within the program line. So it's actually not a bad idea to try out the program line. So there you go. As I said, it's not a bad idea to try out uh, P mode or the program line mode. With Pentax cameras, you do have a few available options. Uh, outdoors in regards to shoot, you know, when there's available light, like a good amount of available light, uh, around the the uh, running man mode or action mode actually will give you shutter speeds of 1 1 25th 1 50th or 1 150th of a second things like that um, if there is a very very good amount of light then you will actually see shutter speeds of 1 1000th of a second and such as that MTF it's great for landscapes or if you want to get the absolute sharpest image that you can possibly get because it just basically reads the light coming into the sensor and adjusts the aperture to give you the best sharpness in regards to uh, focusing that light hitting the sensor. The shallow depth of field it seems to sort of kind of work a little bit. The uh, deep depth of field, same kind of thing. Uh, those ones I probably would never use. I would just use aperture priority and just be done with it. But the, uh, the, the MTF one, whenever I am using program mode, that is the one that I use because I know that I want to have the sharpest image I can possibly get regardless of everything else. I use it for landscapes. That's pretty much it. Anyway, if you like the video, leave a like. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. Helps me out. If you'd like to support the channel, I leave that information down there at the bottom of the description and if you have any questions or comments let me know that's it you'll see me on my next video i'm out